Our team is now in its fourth day of, the, of adventures in Iceland after taking the inaugural Iceland Air nonstop flight from RDU to Reykjavik. Kat Campbell joins us now live from Hella, where it is after 10 in the morning. Kat, good morning to you, or as they say in Iceland, Gothen Dian. And we see you've made a new friend this morning. Yes, this is Aldur. That means fire. And Icelandic horses are special. They're absolutely beautiful. They tend to be a little smaller than American horses. And look at his mane. He could be in a shampoo commercial. He's just absolutely beautiful. And they're unique because they have five different gates. So they have different patterns of trotting. And the four gate pattern that they use is a trot that's unique because it's so smooth. And I'm not talented enough to show it to you on live TV right now, but it is really incredible what these horses can do. They're almost like pets in Iceland. They are so friendly and they have dog-like personalities. I just can't stress it enough. They're nice horses. They're beautiful horses. It's a beautiful day for a horse ride through the countryside of Hella. Today's high temperature, 18 degrees Celsius, and that's 64 degrees Fahrenheit. And one of the coolest statements that I may ever say on TV is we are actually on volcano watch today. So there were four earthquakes in Iceland yesterday. One of them was a magnitude 4.3 earthquake, and they expect until the volcano erupts that there will be more and more earthquakes going off. So my hope is that the volcano erupts and I get stuck in Iceland just maybe a little longer than was planned. But my buddy here, he's been uh, helping me out with some riding. So let's give it a try. And my friend Catherine, is, uh, she's helping me out here. We both go by cat. Look at this horse. Uh, you just can't ask for a better morning with the weather and my new friend here in Iceland. Oh, a beautiful How'd I do, day. guys? How'd I do? You look good. Beautiful day for a ride there. And we know you're an animal person, so great to see that you're making friends with the animals in Iceland. Kat, I wanted to ask you quickly, uh, what's been your experience with the people in Iceland? Okay. Are they friendly toward tourists? They are so friendly toward tourists. And I'm so glad you asked that because it's actually a little different than than Europe, places I visited. You know, Catherine here is in a beautiful Icelandic wool sweater. I bought one, you know, it's, it's not like going around France and wearing a beret where people may kind of roll their eyes at you. I, I mean, it's what people here wear. So I bought an Icelandic sweater. I got to cover up with a jacket today. But, uh, you know, everybody has been so friendly to us. We've had a great time. And we have seen so many people from North Carolina. And you can always tell a North Carolinian tourist because they're wearing their UNC or NC State or Duke shirts. So they kind of stand out. We haven't seen any other U.S. sports teams. <laughs> All right, UNC and our collegiate teams represented there in Iceland. Kat, great talking with you, and we'll hear from Kat again ahead at 9 a.m. with a look at a geyser. You can also watch her tonight on our evening newscast only on WREL.